50th anniversary of NASA in 2008, British theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking gave a keynote speech on the final frontier, inspiring the space technology community and the general public alike on why we, the human race, should explore space. Inspiring others is something Stephen Hawking has become very adept at. As a young boy, Stephen Hawking enjoyed riding horses and playing with other children. At Oxford University, he coxed a rowing team. It was while enrolled at Cambridge that symptoms of a form of motor neuron disease first appeared. The diagnosis of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, known in the USA as Lou Gehrig's disease, was confirmed. Hawking was 21 and about to marry. Doctors said he would not survive more than two or three years. Hawking gradually lost the use of his arms, legs and voice and is now almost completely paralyzed. But he never lost his genius. Stephen Hawking's intellectual abilities are rather remarkable. Considered the world's foremost living theoretical physicist, he is an expert on black holes. His stated intention is to unify quantum mechanics with Einstein's general theory of relativity, forming a single theory to explain the origin and end of the universe. At the celebration of his 65th birthday, Hawking announced his plan to take a zero-gravity flight to prepare for a suborbital spaceflight in 2009. Stephen Hawking's flight made him the first quadriplegic to float in zero gravity. This was the first time in 40 years that he moved freely without his wheelchair. I am looking forward to experiencing weightlessness. It has been many decades since I have been out of my wheelchair. Hawking's achievements were made despite his increasing paralysis. A Cambridge scientist built a device that enables Hawking to write onto a computer with small movements of his body, and then have a voice synthesizer speak what he has typed. That synthesized voice and his achievements in the world of physics have made Stephen Hawking an academic celebrity. Hawking has been described as a futurist, and before he took his zero-gravity flight, he explained that many people had asked him why he wanted to go on such an adventure. He said, I am doing it for many reasons. I believe that life on Earth is at an ever-increasing risk of being wiped out by a disaster, such as sudden global warming, nuclear war, a genetically engineered virus or other dangers. I think the human race has no future if it doesn't go into space. I therefore want to encourage public interest in space. Hawking has specialized in the study of black holes, the Big Bang and the universe. Hawking radiation first showed how gravity, quantum mechanics and thermodynamics are related. His work in theoretical physics, which I will not attempt to explain further here, <laughs> has advanced our understanding of the universe. His popular books have advanced the cause of science itself. From his wheelchair, he's led us on a journey to the farthest and strangest reaches of the cosmos. In so doing, he has stirred our imagination and shown us the power of the human spirit here on Earth. U.S. President Barack Obama presented Stephen Hawking with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009, the nation's highest civilian honor. But this universe would be an empty place indeed if I had not had the love and support of my family and friends. If there were medals for that, then I would have very many to give out myself.